Hi, this is Queen of Cups, and I'm here to do um, a collective for February 2nd through the 7th. I just will not resonate with any everybody. Um, any details, anything you need would be in the description box. Uh, if you see any smoke in the back, it's my sage burning. I've been burning it heavy all weekend. Um... Also, too, I want to let you know, I have got this deck out, and I call it my old school deck. I have been using this deck for um, quite a while when I had first I started, and then I had put it away, because, of course, I got other ducks, decks, but um, I really wanted to use this one, so I call it my old school deck, so we're definitely using the old school deck to draw some energy off today when i meditate on the collective i got this anxiety type feeling i don't know what it is and it's it's going around where it's either you ready to get something done get something over with get um start something whatever it is i keep getting that feeling somebody has um real bad anxiety or you're trying to reach someone get to someone something of those natures that's making you have um anxiety or anticipate um Who's coming, what's coming next, or whatever. So we're gonna see exactly what these energies are anticipating, waiting for, starting to stop, or whatever. Okay. So what messages do you have for my collective? What messages do you have for my collective? And no, I do not edit these videos. I don't care to edit these videos because I feel like um this is my authentic self. Um, this is me, including with the bloopers. I don't want to be perfect. It is what it is. I know, I always was that type. I'm not being perfect. It is what it is. Cause I feel once you you try to reach for perfection, it you you always be reaching. Nobody's perfect. Nothing is perfect. Okay. Now let's see what's going on with the energies with the collective. Energies with the collective, please. Somebody is definitely ready to move on. I told you it's like, it's like an anticipating um thing. Somebody is definitely ready to move on. Okay. Um dealing with a um Gemini Libra Aquarius Aquarius strong um Pisces Cancer Scorpio Leo Aries Sagittarius we got so far everybody except um Pinnacles I have two kings Libra I said already okay so um, some of you guys need rest. Like, some of you guys just need to rest and meditate. Um, and like some of you guys are ready to move on. You're anticipating something to move on to something. It's, um, and you're hoping that when you move on to this, it gives you, um, you can, um, Okay, so you're ready to move on. I'm sorry, I was getting some other little stuff. Okay, so somebody's ready to move on. You're ready to put action and you're tired of thinking about it. You might be might be um, moving physically, your, your family somewhere, um, or just a person moving, moving on. I also get that somebody is um, kind of maybe in a depression type. Um, that this is happening, that somebody is moving on or has moved on, will be moving on. Um, this person is definitely all out of whack as far as emotions, um, about this situation. Like I say, you can be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, this King of Cups, uh, may be moving to their twin flame, moving towards their twin flame, their lover. Um, 
or somebody they might be moving away from somebody some of you moving away from somebody that um you thought was a twin flame soulmate and now that you find out that this isn't it, it causes depression you're not happy in this situation this relationship um and you're deciding to move on um some of you moving towards a fire sign a leo area sagittarius a libra um and you wanted to make it work with them. Some of you have um, court issues going on. Some of you have to go to court behind this situation. Um, I don't really see uh, too much of any anger and things. Somebody is just very, very um, out of it when it comes to the situation. And maybe like disbelief. Um, but others, you want to end one situation and go to another one. And this could be from the past. You want to re wreck something from the past um, with somebody else after leaving this person. Also, I'm getting you guys can just be moving. You've been staying somewhere for the longest time and you feel like it's time for a change. You're um, moving from maybe a colder climate to a warmer climate. Um... Some of you guys are um, maybe moving because of a job. Some of you might be going back to an old job. Okay. But you're definitely moving on from whatever situation this is. Some of you are, might be expecting an apology from a um, uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries that wants to come back your way. Okay. Yeah, so just moving on, it wasn't it, it wasn't unexpected. Okay, Tower of Universe wasn't unexpected. Like somebody already knew. That's what I'm saying is giving somebody depression and um sadness and feeling just anxious all the time and anxiety kicking up it's just this person is in a real bad place because um it's like they knew they saw this they, they saw it coming they knew it yeah yeah and that person i lied sorry somebody is pissed somebody is definitely pissed that you're moving on um and that's probably where I see this whole somebody is going to court. But somebody is very pissed. It's, it's a mixture of sad. And you know, okay, so you know how when you, some people, all of us express things different. So some people when they're mad, when they're sad, and um, and it could be vice versa. So when somebody's sad or mad, they becomes angry. Because they don't know how to process that. And they don't know how to deal with that. So then it becomes angry, bitchy, or just very violent. And then some also it can be when you when <laughs> when they're angry and, and mad, um, you can also be depressed and say it. Like it you be so angry and mad, um, after you done done or say whatever you say, it makes you angry and depressed. It makes you sad and depressed, I'm sorry. So that's what I'm getting, like them two kind of vibes. And that can make you on edge, especially when you're angry, especially when you're depressed and don't confused and don't know what's going on. You can't sleep at night. Some of you can't sleep at night. Um, some of you, this um, a Gemini Libra Aquarius is, might be stopping you from trying to leave. Yeah, and this person, yeah, and this person is um, definitely, most definitely, like. On guard. Definitely on guard. Like, but that's why I say it's like, it's not, it wasn't, ex it wasn't like unexpected. Like this person knew this was coming. That's why I say it's something like y'all guys was anticipating or something like that. Or was ready for it to get over with or something like that. So, I definitely feel that. Like some people, some of, um... Yeah, they're definitely standing in your way. Some some people, some this Gemini Libra Aquarius, um, Queen of Swords might be a manipulative somebody that which caused you to get in your head about this whole leaving and going towards your twin flame or staying with this person. Like whoever you're with is a very manipulative uh, person that knows that you want to leave or this is not working out and they try to make you stay. And that is causing you to be 
like deeply in your head and it's it's like you like everybody see you fine on the outside but you really not like you're really depressed yeah it's a burden you ready to put this burden down um ten of wands you ready to put this burden down it's too much um you tired of acting like you're happy and you're not you tired of this person manipulating you um trying not to let um let you leave the situation when you both are not happy I, but i wonder why I, it ain't no i don't understand it ain't about no money or anything it's something it's definitely dealing with, with how this person is far as mentally and emotionally but we'll see as we get more. Yeah, um, it's definitely. A, but this is just about um, uh, a love, a, a relationship situation, a relationship, a situation. Um, I don't really pick up marriage, so I don't fully believe this is marriage, but more of a soulmate, twin flame situation, um, a relationship. Yeah, see the King of Cups. He wants to go to his twin flame, twin flame, and um soulmate but he know he can't re resurrect this situation because judgment reverse because he still has to put an end in she or he still has to i'm sorry for putting um gender but she or he has to um put an ending to this first ten of swords before they can move on offer you anything and they know that but when you have somebody manip manipulative and um, that plays mind games and all of that and lie, you know, it's kind of, I guess, um, this person is like, I don't have time for it. They're really catching on to what this this uh, person is doing. And they're ready to be out. Yeah. <laughs> they're ready to, they're ready to, um... Put it into this so they can come offer you. But they're coming up as a page of pentacles, a page of night. This person also will be stalking you. But um, they definitely want to put an ending to this. Definitely want to put an ending to whatever that's karmic, that's not benefiting them anymore, or whatever the case may be. They're really ready. Yeah, they're ready to come towards their soulmate. They know that you're, they're, you're their soulmate. They're ready to come towards you. You can also, um, I got a Scorpio again. Yeah, so this person is very passionate. Um, you know, um, they know they have to cut out some things. They know they can't come to you detached and unemotional. Um, but that's not how they actually feel. That's the crazy part about it. They really have so much love for you, so much passion for you. It's just like, girl, boy, girl, you just don't know. So they do have a lot of passion for you. Some of them tend to stricken their emotions. Um, but it's there, trust me. But you then you have to remember this person is the type of person that hides their emo that hides how they feel because up here, um, like I told you, they with that um their emotions, uh, with dealing with this manipulative person, they may seem like they're happy, but they're not. Um, like everything's okay, but it's not. They really deep down want to um leave this person. So they're good at whoever it is. They're good at masking their uh, masking their emotions. Um, and I did. I, I really am picking up more of a masculine energy. Um, I got three kings out here. A Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and I have the um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And I have, um, so you could be, both of you guys could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, dealing with each other, with this situation. Or that could just be that manipulation she tries to put on. And both of this king and queen is reversed. But more of the queen up there, she's using manipulations because she's mad that um, this person wants to leave. Down here, the queen, king of swords, he just masks his emotions, but he has a lot of emotions for you. How's this justice here? That's justice. I hope this makes sense. I hope you guys will follow me. Um, yeah, see, it's no movement on this whole um, legal situation. Maybe they have to go to court. Um, oh, okay. 
also too i'm getting to some this is this person knows the situation not fair and they want to make the situation fair and they can't move on until they make the situation between you fair and balanced um that's what i also pick up from this justice card also like I said, some of you guys, they might be still locked up, got to go through court or whatever, a court process before they can um, do this. And it might be this person up here carrying them, carrying them through this because they know they want to leave. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's definitely... Um, Seeing that they're bored in this relationship, it's it's, it's not they're not content anymore. Um, they feel they can have more, they can be more content with you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, some of you, you guys don't want to redo this again. You guys don't want to go. Through this so this person that's coming towards you some of you don't want to do this again or um and feel like you wasn't happy in this situation when it when you guys did have a situation and because of maybe this third party that they got going on but um yeah yeah and somebody also might want to give you something Mm-hmm. Yep, somebody also might want to give you something. Okay. Some of you guys need to um, just take a, a, to the rest and meditate also. I always stress meditate. Meditate, take a break, get some rest. Especially if you've been feeling um, like that overwhelming feeling. Just try to relax. Okay. Let's do some oracle cards. And I'm using Doreen Virtue oracle cards. I like our cards. Some of you guys might have children with this person. This is why this person probably feels a certain type of way that you're leaving. Okay. I got God and children. Um, you are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So some of you guys um, may have to explain this to your children that, you know, you don't, you guys are not going to be together anymore or something like that. Um, or your children might be watching this. This might be too toxic for your children. And they see this type of behavior. And you don't want your children to see this type of behavior. But, um... Watch out for your children as well. Leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart and true desires into action. And that's for um, if anybody's getting manipulated or um, just dealing with somebody with negative energy, you have the choice to leave. But this goes back to that person wanting to leave anyways, wanting to take that leap of faith, wanting to leave this situation and be with some um uh, their twin their soulmate. Um yeah, some of you guys um going back to this these children, the children is watching. They are watching all of this. With the four coins, they just sit back watching it. Some of you guys, um, children, you might want to talk to because they might be holding on to their emotions real hard about how they feel about this whole situation. Okay, leap of faith. Um, like I said, don't, don't um, be conflicted within yourself and know exactly what you want. Five of Wands, being conflicted within yourself. Should you take this leap of faith and leave this person, um, and go towards what you want? Or whatever the case may be. Um, just go wherever you, you you already know. Spirit will let you know which way to go. Um, start. Ask. 
I got star, start delegating. Ask yourself, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. Um, some of you guys might need to go to um, to ask your friend or um, get advice from somebody. Um, some of you guys also need to um, meditate and get your answers that way. Pray, get your answers that way. Um... With this um, tower card on top of X, others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself, I get that's more fear of change. And I say that's the fear of change because that's what I got with this um, tower. It's because you have to take that leap of faith. You, you you know, you have to, you know, not hold back because of the children or, you know, you can't stay in the situation because of how you feel, woman or man, how you feel that you feel like, okay, it's for the kids. No, because in, in this spread, it's damaging the kids and the kids are seeing what's going on. So you can't have, you can't be scared to change. Like change is good. Home, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in occupants. I said that either at the beginning of the reading, I said somebody is moving out or you're moving away. Either way, this has to be had. Like it has to come. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody, either somebody's getting put out because they can't deal with this person anymore, or somebody's walking away and leaving this person because they can't deal with this person anymore. So somebody's going to feel left out in the cold after this. Okay, scared space, create an altar, or visit a powerful place to connect with the divine. Some of you guys really need to rest and meditate. Um, Um, to know exactly what it is that you want to do, which way you want to go, okay? You might need a tarot reading. Um, you might need a tarot reading or talk to um, somebody. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, um, the devil might be digging a um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, but not really the Virgo Taurus Capricorn, mainly Capricorn, excuse me, you can be the little Capricorn. But we know this is, um, you need to clear all that um, toxic energy, um, temptations out that this person um, manipulates you with the addictions of obsession you gotta you know clear all that out you need to create a space where this person can't come in and infiltrate your um, positive energy oh this is going long long okay but somebody's definitely getting left out because the situation was very toxic. Somebody's seeing and realizing now that this situation that they was in or in is toxic. <clears throat> Fairness. This situation would be handled in a just fair, a fair and just manner. Just it was out here twice. That's why I said, um, yeah. And this, and this also causes somebody to feel like they can't manifest, they can't move, they can't do the things that they want to do because of this toxic situation. So you have to get rid of this toxic situation. This toxicity is um not good. Um, and it's wearing on somebody mental. Okay. So you guys, I need you guys to meditate. Relax. Make this decision. Knowing that you know you need to make this decision. As far as um, cutting out someone. Something. Okay. And that has been your reading. I will talk to you guys later.